And all I'm doing is just softening these corners so they're not razor sharp like they have been. And that's it. Pretty easy. Tell us, how do you feel about sanding right now? Well, I think after we're done with this project, I'll never sand again. <laughs> For as long as you live? I'll like build something and then I'll be all, there you go. <laughs> right? <laughs> I just remembered that we have a YouTube channel and we have to actually turn the camera on while we're doing what we do. <laughs> Painting! This is just the primer though. Yeah, we're just getting started. Oh, it's so much quicker on these small ones. <laughs> Big time. Look at all these cabinet doors and drawers, you guys. Drawers and doors for days. And we are not finished yet. We still have these guys over here, and we still have these guys over here, and we still have these guys over here. Think Doors we can do it? Forever. Think we can do it before the sun goes down? Yeah. All right. That's what I like to hear. I had it with painting. And this is just the primer. I had it with bus building. <laughs> it's been a long day of this. It's been a lot of painting. Well, and sanding, sanding first too. and then painting, that was a lot for one day. Yeah. You're very ambitious. I am ambitious. Yeah. I'm just trying okay. to be finished. Last one. You're almost there, baby. Last one priming. For today. There you go. Good to go. GG. All right. Excellent work, my honey. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this was a lot of work to do all the sanding and priming in one day. But he got it done. Mike's in for another day of painting. By hand. Yeah. And, and we have two rollers and two of everything that we could both be painting, but he would just still go over everything that I do anyway, so. <laughs> What's the point? Yes. Do you want me to help you, babe? Do you want me to be painting? No, because then you'll have to just go over everything you did. See? <laughs> it's actually the next day, by the way. We just both put our same painting clothes on. Uh-huh. My shorts aren't the same. Oh, you put on different shorts? Yeah, but your shorts are already destroyed. I wore my green pants yesterday. All your clothes are pretty much work clothes. Yeah. So. See, my idea is if I do finish this bus, my reward to myself is I get to buy new clothes that won't be used for construction. <laughs> Yay! That's my reward. Absolutely, you've earned it. Yeah, I think so. Plus, I'm gonna lose a ton of weight in the bus. I'll be like a sex god. <laughs> What's funny about that? <laughs> You're up. Oh, it's my move. Oh, wait, stop. Just hold right there for a second. Okay, now you I totally like froze. You did good. Like with my foot up. That was awesome. <laughs> it's time for something new. It's time for a change. You ready? What time is it? Oh, it's snap. It's time for Dragon Bay. That's right. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look how beautiful. That is very pretty. All right, grab me something to paint. Does it feel dry? Oh yeah, totally. Oh yeah, this does a much better job. I like
like this color. I won't like this color in about an hour, but like, right? I really like it right now. Right now, now it's beautiful. Like the coverage is, it's so thick and the coverage is so good compared Excellent. to the white. Just putting down a nice, 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 nice. Wow, I'm loving it. It's so teal for real teal. So after everything I said before about that bathroom sink and I was matching the color that I love so much on that bathroom sink, I ended up not going with that color. This is actually a shade greener than that. So instead of Port Hope, we went with Dragon Bay. And it looks really good. And it's still very vibrant. Like I was expecting it to be a little bit softer, but it hasn't dried yet. It's a little bit darker. I've noticed when it dries a little bit, like because yeah. it, cause it dry, this is drying really, really fast. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! I love it. I'm finally getting the painted kitchen I always wanted. It's a dream kitchen, right? My little tiny dream kitchen. <laughs> it's really close. Wow, it really is. Wow, how happy am I? That's like really close really close. If I had gone with that other color, it might have come out like lighter and brighter than I wanted. Yeah. Wow, how fun for me. This is exciting. Oh, I haven't brought you another one. I was so excited about the color I wasn't doing my job. I'll get that. I think I messed that up. Sorry. <laughs> you guys. Let me just show you how exciting this looks. <whistles> looks beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, the shadows aren't that beautiful. <laughs> but the cabinet doors and drawers are. They take up our entire front porch Arizona room. <laughs> Glad I get to have new color on my shorts. You can have some kitchen teal on there along with terrific white and deck tan. And primer white too. Ooh, primer white too. You probably have some uh, deck railing black as well. And probably. It's time now for the final coat of paint on the fronts of the cabinets. Mama Sita. Doing. We see you there in the boat. It totally goes back to licking like a freak. You're licking like a freak, Mama Kitty. Simmer down. I painted myself. You look like you just came home from the Emerald City. Mm-hmm. I painted the Emerald City, and that's why I'm so damn tired right now because I painted the whole thing. I didn't even see the stupid wizard. Nobody does. Ain't nobody. No how. Yeah. Go away. Nobody sees the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Just expecting this to fall on the ground. Like <laughs> on the last piece, right? Oh, that would be just your luck. All right, that's yours. I'm taking it. Okay, right. now just take it out of here. Right. We're done with it. That was a lot of painting. <laughs> For reals. Now I got green hands. It's never gonna come off. Now you get to come see the results of what you've accomplished today. Yeah. Wow. That is impressive. I hope I can put them on good. You better. So that they look look good. <laughs> but they sure do look good. I know, I'm super excited. Every time I come in here, my heart just fills with joy. I love the color so much. Okay. It is an exciting moment. Getting yes. ready to hang the cupboard doors. The day we've been waiting for. Totally this. Oh. Okay, we need a piece. We need the drawers too here. So that you can see how everything stacks up. Okay, let's go get those. Because I'm not a pro.
<laughs> I love the way it looks. And look at it, it totally matches up. Like your measurements no, were right No, it doesn't on. match up because these are touching and they need to be spaced out. Oh, so that one's going to have to be lifted a so little bit higher off the bottom. So I'm going to have to lift this up a little bit. Okay. But that'll work. Good. This is stressful. Is it? Is it stressing you out? It's stressful just because it's, it's like so final. Like it has to be just right or it just won't be good at all. Those pilot holes make a huge difference. Oh, because you drill them? Yeah, because they make these things square to the to the board, so. Okay. Let's go see what it looks like. How's this going? Pretty good. Okay. Ooh, very nice. That was cool. Oh, okay, I just I forgot. There it is. Exactly perfect. Yep. You gonna do the drawers now? I think so. I guess so because then everything above them has to be guided by them. Yeah. Learned this trick this morning. First drawer in our first cupboard. Oh. <laughs> Still pretty good. Yeah, pretty dang close. Yeah. It looks so good. Perfect. I know everybody's going to think I'm weird for leaving this natural wood showing in the center of the cupboards, but I like it. Awesome. Yeah. Now for the actual hard part. What? The, uh... The big cupboards? Yeah. They're going to be hard? I think so. Oh, boy. Okay. So are you putting that like on a measure? So I took, what I did is I made a mark here and that same mark, I just carried that line over onto the cabinet. Okay, uh, and that just gives it. us a really solid, uh, so when we, when we install everything, it lines up perfectly. Okay, I didn't realize you had marked both the cabinet and the door. Yeah. It's the only way we can make this work. Okay, so we got our marks there, and now we take our fancy schmancy Craig, hashtag not sponsored, and you want to clamp this in place. Okay, the cool thing about this is just it makes it super easy to drill these holes for these kind of hinges because of the, uh, the way it was designed, which is just awesome. It just locks in like that, and then... <laughs> And it goes to this stop right here and stops. Boom, now we got a hole there. So then it also has the guides for the pilot holes for the one of the screws. Screws for this. And here is the hinge. And you see the pocket holes there? Boom. There's the holes. They're already drilled for you. And that makes it super nice for what we're doing here. So, and the reason those potholes are nice is because it makes this thing square when you put them in. There, now it's, it's square. And that's really what you want. 
So now we'll do the other side. Now we take our other hinge. And these are really strong because all the force of this is holding on to this right here. It's just a much better design. Europeans beat us on that one. Just for, well, first time ever. What, they beat us on their metric system too. Let's and, not get carried away. And their Celsius system. Who wants to use a 10 base system? Honestly, it's so confusing when you could use a 12 and- Raising hand. And 16th and 32nd base system. That's obviously superior to the that silly 10 base system. Not, not. Europeans beat us on that, hands down. Check this out, from right here. So the cool, one of the other cool things about this is that I can mount the Whoa. this portion of the hinge. Hold still. It just pops off this little button right here. Do it again and I'll not zoom. What? Right, super easy. <laughs> okay, which then makes it super easy to do this part up here. You just come up here all easy as pie. About a half an inch, but we want it straight. Okay. Yep. Okay. Those of you who've been watching will remember that when we installed the diesel heater in the bedroom, we put the controller on the wall up here, right in the way of this cupboard door. So we had to take that off. We're going to move it. It's going to go on this side. We just haven't put it back in yet. That's right. thing is is we can do some adjusting with that screwdriver right here to make it all line up like it's supposed to yeah I noticed that it opened the lower cupboard along with it when it opened yeah <laughs> must have been resting on it oh my god what have I done did you go the wrong way oh it's not locked in up here oh I thought it was. Yeah, I heard it click. It must not have gone the whole way. Yeah. Like I didn't get it on the bottom. There we go. There. Okay. That makes a big difference. Oh my god, we've got a freaking problem. Uh-oh. I'm literally gonna have to trim some of this off. Well, make sure you do it from the top edge. I thought I accounted for this, so I'm kind of surprised that this happened, to tell you the truth. Watch as Mike prepares to perform surgery on this covered door. A little bit of plastic surgery. Yep. On the cover. Never see it. This is the first time I've ever done this in this scale. I think the only shelves I've ever hung were in the van. I've never hung cupboards. Yeah. Nor these kind of hinges. Just doing all this stuff for the first time. Yeah. Oh my god. That one has to be even shorter. Really? Yeah, I think so. This one still have, needs more off of it because I still have to space it here. Oh. All right, take some more off. Whatever. Do I look like I care? It's starting to look exactly how I was hoping it would look. Yeah, it is, huh? I like it. Do you like it? I do. I like that we kept some wood in here. I think that if we had painted all of these, cabinet doors it would have been like 
whoo, overkill of color for the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I feel like this gives us some color, but without being overkill, we still have this natural wood to kind of calm it down. Yeah. What do the different screws do on here? Well, this one here moves the whole thing this way. Okay. This one moves it this way. Which, oh, okay. Which is what I'm trying to do right now. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Our first bedroom closet almost done. We'll still probably lightly stain or at least um, do a polyurethane on the natural wood parts inside the cabinet doors. But this is more or less how it's going to look. I love it. Oh, we've got it done already? That's it. That was fast? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. I know. It looks good. Yeah, it really does. You got your groove on? I think so. <clears throat> well, that makes one of us. I'm just limping around like a gimp. Since Mike did all the painting yesterday, I did all the transporting each cupboard and drawer face back Multiple and forth. Times. Yeah. And every time I would carry it into the patio, both my hands were full, so I had to squat down completely with my legs she, she did and raise squats. back up. Oh my gosh, yeah. I did so uncountable numbers of squats yesterday. And I am feeling the pain today. Almost there. Same problem. I don't know why you're making me do Stairmaster the day after you burned me on Thighmaster. He's a slave driver. She's a sissy lala. I am a sissy lala. Guess what time it is? Time to do the kitchen. Boom shakalaka. Yay! First cupboard in the kitchen! Okay, so the camera wasn't rolling, but we can't install this big cupboard for the upper pantry right here right now because it's warped. And we're actually going to have to make a whole new door for the upper pantry right here and do the whole painting process all over again. You know, we have to paint the ends of the cabinets in here anyway, so we're going to be painting in it anyway. It's no big deal. We'll get it handled. Well, that's a cute little cupboard. Yeah. Let's see. Here's the paint chip for Port Hope that matched my kitchen sink exactly. And here's Dragon Bay, which I went with. I kind of feel like this actually looks in between these two colors. I love it. And now we're starting this side. Look at that! It looks even cuter on the oven side. I don't know why, but it does. It's the cutest little kitchen. Oh, my legs are still killing me from Thigh Master the other day. You guys. In the bus, and I'm not kidding you. I can't even believe this is my kitchen. This is my kitchen. It's my dream kitchen come true. So, what all have you been up to out here while I was inside editing? All right, we finished this little place. It's so cute. Ooh, looking fancy and festive. Right. I couldn't do this side because we ran out of switch plates and and plugs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then. I did, oh, I did this over here. Oh yeah, the whole tower on this cabinet. Yep, and even this. And down here, ah, oh, so cool. 
I love those soft coats. It's pretty covers. cute, huh? Yeah, man. These are going so fast. I know. Just getting it now. All right, let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna adjust it. Outstanding. Okay, next mission. How to build the slide out trash can compartment. Yes. Hi, we're going to align these lines right here. Man, we gotta go shopping for handles right away. I know. Really hey, do. that is really nice. And you made it very slender inside there. It's not all bulky and crazy. Yeah, it seems to be it seems Pretty to be sturdy. strong enough. Like I can see a little wobble in it, but nothing to write home about. Those are gonna be important. Very love nice. It. I love it. That was quick. Yep. There it is. What Mama Kitty's been waiting for her whole life. She just didn't know it. Sad. She loves it. Her own little kitty hole. I love the galley style kitchen. I think it makes perfect sense. We're breaking into new territory now. Putting the cabinet doors in the front of the bus. What will they do next? Makes you wonder. <sighs> that looks too... It looks so good, the whole front of our bus. Wow, it really does. From there to the side panel to the cabinet. Everything looks so good. High five. Oh, last thing. What's the last Door thing? front. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the last piece of the kitchen. Ugh. Almost. 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 The, the handles. The only thing we have left is we still need a little front piece in front of our dish drainer. And we still need the little piece that will be the control panel that holds all of these sorts of things. But other than that, <laughs> it looks like my kitchen is done. It looks great. Super happy with the color.